Hey guys, welcome back. We're back on the Scion again. Hopefully, this will be the last episode of the Scion. So last episode you've seen us, we installed the engine, transmission, uh, we have the majority of the accessories hooked up. We just got a few last things to button up. We had to go pick up some fluids, oil filter, battery, those type of things. So hopefully here in the next 30 minutes to an hour, we'll be starting it. Just so you know, we do have March Madness on in the background. It is the first day of March Madness. So uh, exciting times here in the shop. We will probably get distracted and you'll be seeing us looking up there quite a bit. So, let's get to work. Let's get to work. Bad news. Uh, we don't have an exhaust manifold gasket, so now we're going to make a parts run. Okay guys, so we're back from the park store. O'Reilly's hooked us up with a exhaust manifold gasket, so we're gonna put it on. All right guys, so it's time. We've got everything ready. We have not turned the key over at all yet. And uh, here we go, hope for the best. Okay, we're back again. We had a minor little issue with the shifter linkage being off, so it was reading like it was in reverse uh, when it was actually in park. So we got that adjusted and we're gonna hit the key. Ready? Hit. So we've been working for a bit. Uh, we got the uh, antifreeze in the car and realized that the uh, bleeder valve was leaking on the top of the uh, radiator. So looks like we're in for a radiator replacement. All right, guys, back after it in the garage. Uh, another night where we left off. So we got the motor in the car, got it fired up, found an issue with the radiator. So we got on the interweb. Ah, uh, brand new radiator. So plan is, radiator in the car, fill it up, drop it on the ground. We've got to put some ATF in it for the transmission. Uh, see how that does, make sure we have no leaks anywhere, bleed the system, and hopefully we're gonna drive it. We'll see, wish us luck. Good. The little issue, got a couple broken bolts in the radiator support where the radiator bolts to the radiator support. So as you can see, we have one here, crusty. Number two, crusty. Plan, drill them out, see if we can get a nut on the bottom, bolt it up. Here we go.
Look who decided to show up. Hey, the boss is here. Check it out. Hmm. Nice of you to show up. Yeah. Always parking in the grass. This is eating Skittles. Take one. Hey Justin, what do you think is about to happen? <laughs> one of two things. It's, it's going to start and it's going to sound terrible or it's going to start and it's going to do great. So check it out. Logan. Hit it. Can we get a booyah? Booyah! Oh, okay guys. We have got it uh, almost buttoned up, but we're gonna go ahead and take it for a test drive just to check everything and see how it does. This is the tool that every man needs. Watch. What about women? And women. And you can use it as a hammer. Logan locks it when you drive through the grass. <laughs> so you gotta get How off the edge. Drive through the grass. You just whatever that sound was did not sound pleasant. Apparently it was just a splash shield. I'll say we're good. Look here, no lights yet. What do you think of this ride, Justin? Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Be easy with it. There we go. Good job. All right, two minutes later, still going. Booyah! Yeah. Hey, runs good, drives good, smooth. Um, still getting a little brake rust off. It's been setting for quite some time. So, uh, overall, though, everything is doing really well. Uh, quite surprised. But that's good, uh, just taking it down a good old back way, country road. Successful uh, test drive. All we've got left is to put the cover on the exhaust manifold and the valve cover. And we've got a splash shield we've got to put on the bottom of it. And that is cleaning it and that's it? Well, the emergency brake doesn't work. We're gonna look into that. What are you doing? Uh, doing a little of the worst job ever on a vehicle called a brake shoe. Um, it's terrible. I don't recommend it. Take it to your local mechanic because you don't want that to happen. But you can see there is no shoe left on the shoe. Hmm. We are riding in the car right now, heading to advance to get some brake pads. Brake pads? Shoes. Brake shoes, whatever. Like horses wear. Yep. For our Toyota Scion TC. Hey, we're really. in a vehicle, it's got 900,000 miles. 329, get it right. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this the right way? I have no idea where we're going. That's what it's we got these wherevers, they're coated brake shoes. Is that racing shoes? These these are pretty much Hawk racing, I'm pretty sure, but rebranded as wherevers from advance. These are gonna stop that car like nobody's business. Just well, for they're, they're for the parking brake, so hopefully so. All right, guys, we're back. Again, the car's running. It's buttoned up. Everything that we had left off after the test drive, we went ahead and reinstalled. We got our brake shoes on the back, so the emergency brake is working now. Um, got a little bit of cleanup left to do. Other than that, man, the car runs good. It drives good. It shifts well. No problems there. 
Casey's going to give you a breakdown of what we spent on a daily commuter uh, and the process we went through. He's got a breakdown of the list of stuff, what we have spent on it. So take it away. So the vehicle purchase, we paid $200 for the car. Uh, we replaced the tail light at $40 and $650 in the used engine that we got. And uh, with the battery, oil, we replaced the radiator, brake shoes, and exhaust manifold gasket. Uh, we ended up with a grand total in the car of $1,136. That's going to be it for this one. Uh, we will see you in the next project. Thanks for watching. See ya!